This is Sky News with Lorna Dunkley. Good afternoon. The head of football's world governing body, Sepp Blatter, has apologised for denying racism is a problem on the pitch. But the FIFA president is refusing to stand down over the issue. I'm sorry and I regret that my statements earlier this week have resulted in an unfortunate situation and has taken this dimension. I am committed to the fight against racism and I have no doubt about that. And I want to make it very clear. I will not stop until we have stamped out of football racism. Oh no, I cannot. I cannot, I, I cannot resign. Why should I resign? When you are faced with a problem, you have to solve the problem and to go out and to leave the organization. Uh, this, this, this would be unfair. This would be totally unfair and uh, is not compatible with my fighting spirit, my character, my energy, my commitment, my personal commitment to football. Well, the chairman of the FA, David Bernstein, believes the FIFA chief has failed to live up to his responsibilities. A handshake at the end of the game does not draw a line under racial abuse during a match. As I've said many times in the past, with power comes responsibility. And I, with others in prominent positions in the game, have to make sure we live up to the values of which we speak. Mr. Blatter has made it clear he will not resign, but his apology today was necessary. His initial comments were wrong and irresponsible. But a member of FIFA's Fair Play Committee, Tokyo Sexuali, has thrown his support behind the president, saying he's no racist. Yesterday, Sepp Blatter issued a statement on the governing body's website with a photo of the pair. Mr. Sexuali criticised England's decision to appoint John Terry as captain while he is under investigation for alleged racist comments. The most worrisome of the cases is that which involves Chelsea, and Chelsea captain John Terry, where he is being investigated for racial remarks he made against the brother of Rio Ferdinand of Manchester, Anton, who plays for Queen's Park. John Terry is also the captain of the English national team. It is therefore not helpful for any side to have honoured him with the captain's unbent. Was the indiscretion against another player of another race he is still so fresh in mind. Let's go live to Ashish Joshi, who's at Wembley Stadium. And does this put the FA on the back foot, Ashish? I mean, FIFA is saying you shouldn't be making John Terry captain. I don't know if they're on the back foot any more than they were last week when some difficult questions were posed to Fabio Capello about the inclusion of John Terry in not only the England squad but wearing the England armband. They are in a difficult position, Lorna. Until the police investigation is concluded, the FA are not in a position to launch their own investigation or to say anything about the police investigation as it continues. So it's a difficult position for them. They're not reacting to what Tokyo Sekawale has said, but what Tokyo Sekawale has done has brought two connected but unrelated incidents together. The Ferrari surrounding Seb Blatter's comments yesterday, the international condemnation was not forthcoming. He has a very difficult uh, position with the English media. There's history there. So what this will mean is now other football associations will turn around to the English FA and say, well, are you in a position to say anything about Sepp Blatter when you obviously have problems within your own game and those investigations are continuing? So it does make it difficult for the FA. Ashish, thank you for that. Uh, our sports editor, Nick Powell, is here. Nick, we, we've talked about FIFA in the past, and, and British journalists, English journalists in particular, have this ongoing battle with him. It's seen as a particularly English problem. Uh, and yet this time it, it is a far wider issue, and, and the criticism, the allegations flying backward and forward are, are quite damaging. Yeah, there's lots of elements to, to, to your question there. The, I mean, the English football has actually gone a lot further than football in most other European countries in eradicating racism. We still have some way to go, as John Barnes made the point very eloquently on Bolton earlier on today on Sky News. But uh, we've seen all too often in recent seasons that England have played in Spain and Bulgaria and Slovakia and other places where there has been 
uh, racist problems of the kind, mostly from the crowd, but also on the pitch, that we do not see in this country anymore to anything like that extent. Is there a battle between the English media and Blatter? Up to a point, because they perceive him to have been partly responsible for England not getting the, the World Cup in 2018, but also because it's a good news story. Is it being covered elsewhere around Europe? Yes, it is, much more than yesterday. I've just checked now, in the last 10 minutes, the websites of uh, Bild Zeitung in Germany, uh, Marca, one of the main uh, sports uh, newspapers in, in Spain, uh, L'Equipe in France, and Gazette de Sport in Italy. All four are reporting the Blatter story, the Blatter apology, uh, built site, as I said an hour ago, saying, Blatter says sorry, but only a little bit. Um, <laughs> and we should also make the point that, that um, the, the comments from, from Tokyo Sexuality were just personal comments from a guy who's on a couple of FIFA committees. He's, he's not speaking for FIFA. And I think he is, uh, he's been an interesting sidebar for the media. I don't, right. think he's, I don't think he's going to be a main plank of the story going okay. forward. I think was, the whole thing involving him was rather unfortunate, badly handled by by FIFA, the fact that they put that photograph of, of Blatter and, and, and him on their website is a, a, a rather clumsy means of saying, listen, Mr. Blatter's not racist. A lot of people came out today and said, we don't accept Blatter's racist, he just made a very stupid comment. He did. He's a, mm. he's a very skilled lawyer, politician, who's been at the top of this organisation for 13 years, 17 years as the number two before that, but stupid enough to say what he did and not, apparently not realise what was, what was going to be made of it. People suggesting now that the... Uh, that a line should be drawn under it. Lots of managers making that kind of point. Andre Villas Boas, who's involved, of course, with the John Terry situation as the, the Chelsea manager, so mm -hmm. Terry's uh, club manager, speaking today, he says that Blatter deserves credit for at least saying sorry. For the FIFA president to come across, although it's a misunderstanding in his opinion, to come across in that way, it's something that uh, alerts this country because this country doesn't take it uh, lightly and condemns these kinds of uh, actions. Uh, again, it's humble of him to come back to uh, to retract from uh, from those words. So, uh, we all agree that uh, that uh, Zeb Blatter has made the mistakes in his uh, his comments and doesn't set a good standard. But uh, again, uh, there's humbleness in his actions after to uh, to retract from uh, from his words, bearing in mind that he is in uh, in the position of uh, of the FIFA president. So there's been quite a bit of conciliatory talking today like that as well mm. as further outright condemnation of Sepp Blatter. Um, the story in a sense will I think go away after the weekend but the racism story will come right back into the onto the, the top of the news agenda once there's a decision from the police on John Terry and a decision from the FA on the other case involving Liverpool's Luis Suarez is accused of racially abusing Patrice Evra. Suarez denies that as Terry denies his case so football and racism will be back on your news agenda uh, later this month or early next. All right, Nick, thank you for that. Britain and Germany.